So I am back with another first descendant video and in this video guys we go over this week's best farms. These will be the best places to farm that certain reactor for your descendant. We'll also go through the best XP, gold and Kuiper farms too. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and before we go any further, I am giving away Ultimate Descendants or the equivalent in that caliber. To win it's as simple as this, drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. I will pick one winner and announce them at the end of the week from the comment section. So the more I see you active on my first Descendant videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. So good luck everybody. Okay, so we're going to go over guys the best farms this week for your specific descendant now i do go over every single descendant in regards to the best reactors to farm this week and with these farms i bring you today i point out the best locations in regards to areas and pinpoint the best missions which will not only give you reactors but at the same time make it worth your time in gold kuipers and so forth so let's get into it guys and we're going to start with bunny and ultimate bunny so the reactor you want is the tingling singularity reactor and this week guys we have special round uh, reactors available as well as those impact round reactors available so we'll start with our special round mounted ultimate reactors and so this week you need to farm the Vespers region, the ruins area and in my opinion the best place to farm here is the destroyed temple mission. Now although this area is pretty poor for farming, this is the best mission here in my opinion. It is sure it does have a few enemies spawning within here but if I'm honest it is incredible for that loot but it's the best you have for those special round mounted reactors this week for bunny. Okay, so we're going to move on to those impact round mounted reactors uh, for Bunny. And this week, guys, we have a great farm. So within the White Knight Gulch Moon Grave Basin, this is the area where these reactors will drop for you. You want to do the water cooling recording device mission. A great mission that if you run correctly, will see you not only get tons of reactors, but also massive amounts of Kuiper shards and gold too. So it's as simple as this. Start the mission, run to that A point, capture it, then run away and let the enemies recapture it. Then guys you ignore them on the point and just farm two waves of enemies that constantly spawn in. Do this until the mission fails, restart it, rinse and repeat, you will get a ton of loot in doing this. Okay so next up guys we have Viesa and her best reactor is the frozen mechanics reactor. This week guys we have a general round mounted reactor, special round mounted reactor and an impact round mounted reactor so pretty cool. So the first one, general rounds. So you want to come to the White Knight Gulch region, the observatory area and the mission you want to be farming here guys is the orders occupied facility. This mission is short, has a great amount of enemies too. Uh, although the area is limited and there are a couple of other short missions you can run, I think this is probably your best bet in getting those quick reactors this week. Okay, so special round mounted reactors. So you want to come to Stereo Lands and you want to come to the Ironworks area and the mission you want to be farming is the Logistics Facility mission. Now this is a nice short mission you may remember, you may have farmed the Thunder Cage or a Thunder Cage blueprint from here. It is full of enemies, it's easy to run and it should see you get plenty of these reactors this week. Okay so lastly for Viesa guys we have the Impact Round Mounted Reactor. This week guys you need to head to Hagias and within the Dune base area. The mission you want to be running is the Vulgus Blockade. So having played all the missions numerous times within this area, I definitely feel that this is the best mission within this area. You can run this mission in a little over 3 minutes without any problems and because the mission has a constant flow of enemies too, it rewards you plenty of these reactors at the same time. Okay so next up guys we have Blair, best reactor for him is obviously the burning phase reactor. This week guys you have only the impact round mounted reactors in regards to ultimates available. Now to farm this you need to come to sterile lands, you then want to come to the restricted zone area and the mission you want to be farming here guys is the barracks mission. So this area is home to some pretty poor and boring missions I'm not going to lie but this one in my opinion is definitely the best it's straightforward quick and easy now it isn't filled with enemies but you will kill them at a quicker rate upping your chances uh, for those reactors over other missions in the area so it's the best you have this week guys if you play on Blair next up guys we have Freyna for her you want to get the toxic mechanics reactor this week guys you need to head to echo swamp and within the musket swamp 
area. Now this area is one of those that is just limited and it's just got rubbish crappy missions uh, that don't reward you enough loot in an efficient manner in my opinion. So if I were you I'd head here guys and just constantly run the zone recommission over and over for this reactor this week. You'll get plenty of reactors but you'll also get other loot at the same time so it's definitely worth your time in doing this. Okay so next up guys we have Sharon. For her the most popular reactor is the Tingling Mixture Reactor. This uh, consists of fusion and electric. Okay, so this week guys, we have a general round mounted reactor as well as an impact round mounted reactor. So general rounds first, you want to come to Echo Swamp and the derelict covert area. Now here guys, I'd run between the Verdant Greenery mission and that nearby zone recon mission and keep rotating the two. Although the area is pretty big, this in my opinion is the quickest way to learn yourself this week's reactor and the added benefits of extra loot from the zone recon mission too. So yeah, this is what I'll do. Now, in regards to the impact round mounted reactor, you want to come to sterile lands and you want to come to the repository area. And here, guys, you want to run the Kuiper mine. This week, you are lucky if this is what you're after, as this is one of the best missions in this game to farm. Uh, you'll get tons of loot, gold, modules, Kuiper, and no doubt, absolutely hundreds of these reactors this week. So, yes, do this one. Okay, so next up guys, we have Eugene, uh, Valby, as well as Kyle. These you want obviously the fusion non-attribute reactors, and this is the materialized mixture reactor. Now, this week guys, you only have those general round mounted reactors available. Uh, to get this, you want to come to the White Knight Gulch, the mountain tops area, and you want to do the Triumphal Arc mission. Now, this is a great fast mission. You can run in easily under two minutes. It's full of enemies, and it's the best bet you have this week in getting this reactor. Okay, so next up, guys, is a bit of bad news. If you play on Enzo, Jaba, or Galay, obviously, you're probably looking forward to the, the Materialized Singularity Reactor. This is obviously a non-attribute singular reactor. This week, guys, there are no farms, which is pretty poor. But hey, you do have these weeks, so yeah. Unfortunately, this week there's no way you can farm the Materialized Singularity Reactor. Okay, so we're going to move on to Ajax and Luna. Here you want the Tech Non-Attribute Reactor. This is the Materialized Mechanics Reactor. This week, guys, you have General Round Reactors, Special Round Reactors, and Impact Round Reactors. So we're going to start with General Rounds. And here, guys, you want to head to Fortress. And you want to head to the Aurora Forest area. And the mission you want to be doing here, guys, in my opinion, is the Snowy Heights mission. Now the area here is limited, uh, but this mission is one of the few that is actually quite decent. It consists of you collecting parts and depositing them. It's not one of the missions I really would recommend normally, but it's actually full of loads of enemies. It's quick to do, and basically it's the best bet you have this week for a general round mounted reactor for either Ajax or Luna. Okay, so we're going to move on to those special round mounted reactors. And this week, guys, you want to head to the Agna Desert. You want to go to the mining site area. And the mission you want to be running is the Mining Beacon. This mission is short, filled with enemies and drops loads of loot. This is also a great farming spot you can take advantage of this week. You'll get decent Kuipers here and decent gold too. Okay, so lastly for Ajax and Luna, we have the Impact Round Mounted Reactors. Here, guys, you want to head to Kingston. You want to head to the Grand, well, the Kingston Grand Square area. And the mission you want to be running is the Kingston Surveillance Radar Mission. This is a short mission which takes place in a dense area while all enemies are in, basically inside, making it a simple mission, fast and easy to run. The area here is limited. So if I were you, I'd choose this mission of the Kingston Surveillance Radar Mission. Uh, the Volgus Data Transmission Mission isn't too bad either, but that mission is limited by time. So yeah, I'd probably stick to, like I said, the Kingston Surveillance Radar Mission. Okay, so next up, guys, you have a reactor for Lepic and a Seymour. This is the Tech Fire Reactor, the Burning Mechanics Reactor. And this week, guys, you have General Rounds and Impact Rounds. So General Rounds first, you want to head to the Agna Desert region and the Storage area. Now the mission you want to be doing here is the previous Construct Team Quarters mission. A mission I used to farm for Fast Gold and Kuiper and it's this week's best spot for this reactor people. This one for sure won't let you down, it's super quick to run, drops tons of loot and it's by far the best in this area for that efficiency. Okay so now guys we're going to move on to those impact round reactors for Asimo and Lepic. So here guys you want to head to Kingston and the Fallen Theatre area. 
Now this area is really limited with only three missions on it. Not great for farming in my opinion. And if I were you in this area guys, I'd just farm the zone you commission over and over as it guaranteedly drops you decent loot along the way. So yeah. Head to the zone recommission within a fallen field area if you want that impact around mounted reactors for either a Simo and Lepic. And there we have it guys for reactors this week for your descendants. Now we'll move on to the best all round farms this week. It's the same as the last week and the week before to be honest, nothing's changed. Uh, these will get you plenty of gold, XP, Kuiper shards, modules, you name it. So the best spot, which is dependent on Valby, is still the Valby Run Zone Recon Farm up on Fortress within the Defence Line area. Head to this Zone Recon guys if you are a Valby or if there's a Valby here doing this, it is an amazing farm. To do it, you simply start up the mission, take out the points. Uh, when the boss spawns in, you then take down his first health bar. From here guys, you run in circles if you're on a Valby, dropping that clean up and just rotate the boss. All enemies that spawn in die on the spot, meaning easy loot, gold, kuipers and XP. The other best farm in the game, in my opinion, is the Kuiper Mine Farm up on Starry Lands. We covered this earlier, guys, for the reactors for Sharon. I mean, it's a simple, simple farm to do. You start up the mission, you take out a couple of groups of enemies, you then start up the point, and then constant flow of enemies will spawn in around the point. I mean, if you're on Bonnie, it's even easier. Just run around in circles. Valby as well. I mean, if you've got any AoE... Uh, variant of a descendant uh, this is one of the best farms in the game i mean like i ain't relying on any particular descendant it will earn you tons of gold xp kuiper shards modules and even reactors this week too now we have done a video on the top 10 best xp gold and kuiper shard farms in the game and nothing's changed since i've made that video and uh, if you want to check it out i'll link it in the video description uh, but there's no point me stating it again here this week because again it's going to be the same old same old but yes if you do want to check that out there's an xp farm for everybody there there's also like i said the best farms in the game and you'll find that video link down below well there we have it guys for this week's best farms in the game in regards to your reactors on your descendants. Guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.